What's up guys, my name's Otter. Here are the early access patch notes for July 31st, 2024, given the too long don't read treatment so that you can get right back into dominating Proso Castle. Rogue Vanish has been changed. It now lasts 30 seconds and is given a 10 second cooldown. A uh, new rogue skill that makes your whole team enter stealth. Um, skeletal weapon skins are now available. More shadow portals are going to be available and spawn more frequently, and they will now also spawn on Castle. Uh, Cryomancers got some nerfs, some changes. Uh, the Will passive got a nerf. It, you have to now be at least 15 meters away to actually start getting that damage increase. Um, Frostbite no longer reduces cold resistance. However, they buffed Frostbite's base damage. I don't know if the uh, no longer reducing cold resistance technically lowers the damage of Frostbite significantly to where they had to buff it, but I'll just have to wait and see how that plays out. Uh, soul energy changes um, were made also to balance high-end versus low-end cryos. Um, I won't bore you with the details there. Um, thunder flasks have been changed as well. Um, they made it so that the slow effect has been reduced, but the duration has been increased. So you can't get hit by a thunder flask, a thunderclap flask, and then immediately get hit by six lightning staff charges. Next, they nerfed Swordmasters more. Uh, you can block Whirling Blade with all weapons now. You also get the Dual Dagger self knockback effect and the Longsword's perfect parry from blocking the Whirling Blade. Death Knight actually got a buff, which just pisses me off because Death Knight's really, really strong as is. There's no way a rogue can kill a Death Knight right now. There's, it's just impossible if the Death Knight knows what they're doing. Um, the Death Knight, they've added more slow during Soul Shroud and reduced the casting time. Reduced casting time, increased the slow effect from 15 to 25%. Right now, in-game, it still says 15%, but it is 25%. Uh, they just need to change the wording in the game. Next, they changed Druid Shadow Assault. It can uh, interrupt bandages now. Um, not a huge change. Uh, priests, they haven't done anything to priests yet but they are planning on doing some major changes and new skill options they don't feel like just increasing numeric buffs would fix the issues with priest so they want to completely rework priest next uh res shrines have been adjusted to 10 minutes so if you have two friends die to cyclops you can go get the res shrine res one friend and then you can't go back and get another res stone it takes 10 whole minutes, which is basically the entire match. I hate that change. I don't like that change. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. That sucks. Next, I did a ton of just equipment balances and bug fixes and other stuff. Um, I won't bore you with all that. Um, but this was basically all of the big points, big changes in the patch notes uh, for today. Um, skeletal set is out, so go buy that. The skeletal weapon skins, they're pretty sick. Go buy them. Uh, I'm going to be streaming over on Twitch all day today, playing Castle, um, farming people on Rogue, and uh, dominating is the plan. So make sure you guys come check me out um, over on Twitch. I might be streaming on YouTube if I can get the quality to work right, but do me a favor, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.